everyone, this is Ninja Girl Socket One here, back with another toy video. And today what I thought I would do is give my recommendations for Christmas this year, since it is right around the corner, which is exciting. But yeah, I picked out 10 items that I think will make wonderful gifts for everyone this year. There is a couple things I'm going to recommend that I don't actually have yet, but I've got to recommend them. But yes. Let me get started with this. Most of these will be dolls, I'm going to be honest, but they're just so wonderful, so yeah. First doll I recommend is the Disney Store Princess Aurora doll. Now this is the version from last year, but she isn't all that much different for this year's version of her, but yes, yeah, she's absolutely beautiful, lovely, lovely face wonderful crown and of course her lovely bouncy curls in the back and of course her gorgeous pink dress the new one is not as glittery so yeah you won't have to worry about that absolutely gorgeous doll love Aurora the next doll I recommend is actually a doll of a princess that every little girl needs to know and that is Princess Jasmine from Aladdin. Jasmine is one awesome Disney princess, and this doll is absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, her face is absolutely lovely. She has a very nice outfit. Um, the overskirt I added, just so you guys know. But yeah, this is the version of her from last year as well, but she really hasn't been changed for this year's version. Like I said with Aurora, so yeah, this is pretty much what you will get really really pretty really nice and of course every Disney store doll is reasonably priced they're usually no more than about 14 15 dollars at most and they usually have deals going on where they're two for ten so you can get a good deal and they're really poseable highly detailed and better than anything Mattel would give you so yeah if you want to get a child a Disney princess doll go straight to the Disney store because Mattel they just, they can't do a good job on them for some reason anymore, but I won't question it. The next doll I recommend is another princess that everyone should know, and that is Mulan. I've got to recommend the Disney Store Mulan doll. It's absolutely beautiful, and sadly Mulan is one of the princesses that don't get enough attention in the Disney princess lineup. And she should. She's absolutely awesome. And little girls should know her. Because she is remarkable, extremely brave, and very tough. And very pretty, as you can see. Um, and this is the version from this year. Just know she will not come with that shawl. That's something I added for mine. As well as the little red section right here. Know that I added that to mine. So yeah. But beautiful doll and very posable, like I was saying. So yeah, highly recommend Mulan. Next doll I recommend. Um, this is actually an older version of her, but I have to recommend the Disney Store Ariel. This is the one from 2010, which I actually have to recommend more than the one they have now because this one is more accurate in my opinion. Maybe not her outfit very much, but um, like her hair and her face is extremely accurate, and I think it's better than the one they have now, honestly, so yeah. And if you want to get this Ariel, she should be on eBay or Amazon for not too bad a price, I would assume. Granted, I haven't looked, so yeah. Highly recommend this Ariel or the one they have in the store right now. Super gorgeous, especially with her vibrant red hair really really gorgeous so yeah the next doll I have to recommend is one of my favorite princesses I still can't seem to pick a favorite but yeah I have to recommend the newest Disney Store Rapunzel mainly because this dress is absolutely perfect it's the most accurate Rapunzel has been since her first doll that was released when Tangled came out. However, I'm going to warn anyone who wants to buy this doll that the hair is on the newest one 
is very thin, and if you brush it, it will frizz on the ends. That actually happened to mine, which is why, if you look closely, you see stitching right there. I basically had to switch scalps with my old Rapunzel and this new one, mainly because I like the new face mold. It looks a little more accurate to me. So yeah, I know that sounds weird, but it did work. She now has wonderful, thick, very gorgeous hair. And she has the newest face mold that I like. So yeah. Or like, I should say. Next doll I want to recommend is probably something a lot of people are going to be trying to find. Because many missed out on her last year. And that is the Disney Store on a doll from Frozen. I know many, many are going to be wanting to get this because they disappeared last year and many missed out on her because they sold out so fast. So yeah, as you can see, absolutely a beautiful doll, really, really gorgeous and highly detailed and better than the Mattel version by a mile. So if you want to buy someone a Frozen doll, don't buy Mattel. They did not do a good job on them at all. They tried, but Disney Store just blew them away. So yeah, definitely recommend Anna. And there is actually a brand new two-pack with Anna and Elsa, with Anna in her end of movie outfit with her skates. Elsa is still in her Snow Queen outfit, but she has her skates. So yeah, you could get that or the two classic dolls. I recommend either one, because both are great. And of course, you cannot cannot have Anna without her beautiful, elegant sister, Elsa. This doll I know many people are going to be looking for, looking for this year because, again, many missed out on her last year. So, yeah. And again, absolutely wonderfully detailed. Definitely better than the Mattel version. Just absolutely gorgeous. I highly recommend Elsa for sure. So gorgeous. And if, like I said, if someone you know missed out on the Frozen Dolls last year, they're gonna love this. So yeah. Uh, the next item I have to recommend, I actually don't have, but what I recommend is the brand new Sailor Moon Season 1 Part 1 Blu-ray 3-disc set by Viz Media with the whole new English dub. I sadly don't have it yet because I'm hoping to get it myself for Christmas. We'll see. But yeah, I have to recommend that. I love Sailor Moon. I just don't have the set yet. <laughs> Next thing I have to recommend is actually a game. Technically, I'm recommending two. I have to recommend Kingdom Hearts 1.5 HD Remix. For anyone unfamiliar with this series, it's absolutely fantastic, and I'm so happy that Square Enix ported this to the PlayStation 3, because for those who don't know, Kingdom Hearts began on the PlayStation 2 many, many years ago, and the series is just huge and brilliant. It's absolutely wonderful, and it's got Disney characters, it's got original characters, it's just an amazing series and with this HD collection you actually get three games in one and um, with this one you get Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix, Kingdom Hearts 3 Chain of Memories and HD cinematic cutscenes for Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over 2 which was on the Nintendo DS. Wonderful HD collection and of course I had to absolutely recommend Kingdom Hearts 2.5 HD Remix that is coming out on the 2nd, which will contain Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, which is going to be like Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix, coming to America for the first time. It's also going to have Birth by Sleep Final Mix, again, coming to the U.S. for the first time, and HD Cinematics for Kingdom Hearts Recoded, which was another DS game in the series. So, yeah. For those who have never played the series, this is a great chance to start. Get either one of the HD collections. You will fall in love with this series. I I can't recommend it enough. And the last thing I have to recommend is 
the Winx Club, Blue Mix Collection, any one of them. Personally, I highly recommend Bloom, but I'm biased being she is my favorite Winx fairy. But yeah, mainly I recommend these because these dolls do not get enough praise. They are absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, and they have fluttering wings and gorgeous hair, beautiful faces. Just beautiful. And one thing that's sad is these are actually going to be the last Wing Stalls released by Jack Specific. So we don't know if we're going to get any more in the US. So yeah. Get these dolls, any wing stall, while you can. They're absolutely gorgeous, and who knows? Like I said when I reviewed this doll, if enough of these are bought, maybe Jeff Pacific will change their mind? We can hope, anyway. But, yeah. I recommend the Winx Club Blue Mix collection highly, especially if you are Winx fans and have not gotten these yet. Definitely do, because I don't think they're going to be um, reshipping any more out. But yeah, they are Toys R Us exclusives, and you can also get them on ToysRus.com, and they're not too expensive, and they're absolutely wonderful. And again, just like um, the Disney Store dolls, highly posable. But yeah, that is my gift recommendations for Christmas 2014. I hope you enjoyed this video, and happy holidays, everyone!